What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Redland Revs and what I'll be showing you in this video is how to change the fuel pump in a Mark IV Golf VW um, uh, group vehicle. Now in the rear passenger seat just lift the seat and underneath this flap here you will find a cover for the fuel pump. Um, it's got three screws on it just undo those. On mine they were Phillips head screws um, and yeah just undo these and lift that off and that is your fuel pump it's got two fuel lines to it uh, a feed and a return and it also has a power supply uh, right there okay first thing you got to do is just uh, get this twist this plastic thing off it just get a flathead screwdriver on the grooves and then use a hammer or tap with your hand on the other side until it moves um, can you tap that? Okay, that's starting to get loose. Um, the fuel hoses also have a clip on them right there. I don't know if you can see it when I'm pressing it. See that clip? That clip. So you just push that down and then lift up. So this is on the other one. Actually, disconnect that first. It makes more sense, probably. Okay. That's all disconnected. Just move these two fuel lines off to the side and turn the grommet and lift it out. Right. Okay. So gently lift that up, tugging it side to side a little. So gently lift that, pull it to side to side, and then there's an O-ring that you've got to get. You can see it here as well. Yeah, now it's come off. My O-ring's going to be... And then there's a level gauge, which is over there. Okay. And just remember the position that that gauge comes out at. Just be careful not to get the fuel on the fabric 
Uh, we should have actually put something down, but we were just a bit excited. Let it drip off. Um, do yourself a favour, get yourself the whole unit with the new housing. You can get a much cheaper pump here, but then you'll be faffing about with rewiring this, with redoing the hoses, which you can do, but you know, save yourself the hassle, just get the whole thing. Um, and reuse the o-ring, mine didn't come with an o-ring and try to get the thing back in the way that it came out, the uh, fuel level gauge let's get this pump in this is a slightly awkward part where you have to get the o-ring Okay, so uh, the o-ring should be tucked inside all around the edges and once you've got that you can push it down Once you've got that o-ring tucked in around the sides and you've made sure the pump has gone in more or less the same way it came out Just push it down. My original one actually fitted exactly but I can feel that this other one is touching the bottom of the fuel tank but it also has um, it can change its size so actually you just push it and uh, it's got these two rods coming out which can compress just going around and tucking in that rubber o-ring all around the sides because I don't want to come back to this job I want this to be tight and flush in on that side very well. Yeah. And now we're in. And now we're flush. plugged in let's make sure we get this nice and tight uh, so righty tighty Right, now that's nice and tight, and uh, that's it. You just need to obviously replace that cover with the screws, and that's how you change the fuel pump on a uh, VW 1.8T and many other Volkswagen cars in the Golf Mark IV generation. Thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, rate, subscribe.